Marina, her false accusation is that I was hitting on the friend on our spiritual wedding. This is an ungodly accusation, false, and just was not only heartbreaking, but upsetting. She hurt me, she betrayed me. I am willing to forgive, I'm waiting to forgive. I just need her to ask for it, and I will immediately grant it. And then I believe we can get back to where our life was before and get back on the godly course God wants us, and that's marriage. Well, Mark says Marina has many flaws, including no ability to forgive. So, Marina, do you need forgiveness? What What is it that, that Mark needs to forgive you for? Yeah, she doesn't understand what she's asking for forgiveness for if he invited her friend to Mexico and, and emailed her friend yeah. instead of her. Yeah, that's, that's, we've talked to Marina. She doesn't understand what it is she did wrong. Okay, um, first of all, uh, you know, I believe the women, all women, and I, I'm gonna put this better in context, are crippled by the three Fs, fear, unforgiveness, or, in the, you know, the word forgiveness, or falsehood. Marina was afraid of the pandemic, so she didn't want to come to Mexico. Marina is, doesn't like to forgive, okay? And I'm, in a sense, the innocent and the victim here, although the devil perpetrated all of this. I begged Marina to just forgive me, even though I didn't do anything wrong, to teach her about forgiveness so we could be reunited. And it actually free, gives her, you know, her freedom and liberation to forgive. Again, I didn't, what she believes in her heart, I, didn't, I don't feel and think, and I still don't. And that's the third one, falsehood. I'll tell you, Dr. Phil, here's the biggest lie of the devil. If I told you my shirt was red, that's a lie. You would look at it and say, Mark Anthony, your shirt's not red. But here's the problem that Marina succumbs to that many people do, especially women, and the devil's been doing this from the beginning. If I told you my shirt was lilac, and you looked me in the face or on the phone or on video and said, no, it's not, repeatedly, that's a lie. That's a devil lying to you. I am telling you the truth. It's lilac. Marina, I am telling you the truth. What you think about your friend is wrong. What you thought about me trying to totally, you know, tell you to be offline on your Instagram is a lie. I said, why don't you do some video to improve your Instagram and just turn it upside down? Be a fitness model and be a DJ who makes great music. We should all be dancing on the streets instead of protesting and riding. I begged Marina to do that. That's an example of doing something good. I offered her that suggestion. Next thing I know, the devil puts in her head, you're trying to, you know, uh, restrain me or confine me or enslave me and you're telling me to change my Instagram. No, Marina, that's not what I said. Now, maybe it's the language barrier. I don't know, but that's why I stayed connected and I just begged her. Please forgive me, even if I didn't do anything wrong. Just forgive me so we can heal and reunite. Didn't you say that since you were spiritually divorced that maybe God was using Marina to lead you to who he really wanted you to meet, which was her beautiful friend? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.